Hello team, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB. This is Nish Kumar Singh and you are watching ISTQB tutorial series. We are in the chapter 4 still and we are looking at the fourth topic that is experience based test techniques. So far we have done one of the topic from here that is error guessing. Now today we will be working on the next one which is called as exploratory testing. But before that just let me give you a bit of introduction from the past about the experience based technique. Uh, generally, we make use of the test basis as the experience of the person whom you are, you know, consulting, or maybe you can call it as the, the past experience of the tester, intuitions, experience on the similar type of applications and typical type of defects. We generally help you derive the test cases or maybe interact with the application. The experience-based techniques can be used as a top-up to the formal techniques, where you would have applied formal techniques earlier and you would like to add more coverage or find different defects than the formal techniques by using experience-based techniques. But some cases, we cannot just go ahead with formal techniques at all, where the three cases are specifications are poorly defined, sometimes we have time pressure, or your team is not formally trained on testing fundamental, but they are domain experts. So as they are domain experts, they know what defects we can find. But as they are not trained formally on the testing fundamentals, of course, they won't be aware how to apply the techniques. When you have time pressure, you generally do not have time to sit down, relax, and prepare the test cases, execute them, log the result, and so on. And if the requirements are not detailed, not clearly defined, of course, the formal techniques cannot be applied at all. So let's look at the next one that is exploratory testing where we're talking about another way to apply experience-based uh, technique to find out more and different effects than the formal ones. So here, uh, generally, there's a slight different approach compared to error guessing, where error guessing, we collect certain test data, and based on that, we derive the test cases and execute them and log the result. But here, generally, we do not derive the test cases. We only have... Uh, Things like, you know, working with a particular area, particular zone where you explore without any kind of uh, interaction with uh, systematic test cases which are written. But to a certain extent, we also say that you can create, if you want, one-liners as per ISTQB. If you want, you can create high-level test cases which are not predefined like during the test design phase. But during just before the execution of the test session, you can have a one-liner orientations which you can execute or consider for the exploratory sessions. And generally, this will be logged in terms of like what is the outcome of the execution and which can be used to even document and show to the client. Now, generally, we say that when you conduct exploratory sessions, if you do not have any documentation, you cannot, it cannot be deliverable to the client that how and what exactly you did for that particular duration. So sometimes we say that if you can log some high-level you know, logs or documentation which can help the client also understand that how much testing we have done so far. So when it comes to Agile, generally Agile is inherently exploratory testing. Like throughout the testing, we majorly conduct experience-based testing techniques. So as you conduct that, then most of the part of your testing is exploratory and it is undocumented. Then, of course, it becomes a problem with the measurement on the uh, execution time. So we recommend that if you can just create a quick high-level document which would help you to determine that how many hours were used through the exploratory session, then it will be quite measurable and achievable as well. The conduction of the exploratory testing generally uh, is done with help of a test charter which contains the details of the execution session uh, where we have the objective of the session or objective of the exploratory testing that what is that we are going to do, what is that we are going to achieve, what is the precondition, who is that conducting, what's the start time, what's the end time, what is the time allocated. So all these parameters will be specified, who is conducting this and so on. Where we call it as a test charter, which will be only, one and only reference for executing the test sessions. So generally this approach will be limited within a time box where you call it as time box in the sense like it will come with a cap value between 60 minutes to 120, 30 minutes to 120 minutes that each exploratory session will be limited within this. At the same time, the execution approach is also called as time box test sessions, where generally we say that it comes with a time limit where it will be defined by the manager and following that you go with a test session which is the approach of executing exploratory. So we say it is a time boxed test session where it is the limit defined for the time plus a test session to be executed. So team, that's all from the experience-based exploratory testing. 
you can also uh, look forward for having another video on the checklist base which is newly added entity in the 2018 syllabus and we have one more technique to go from this chapter altogether so stay tuned for that we'll be coming back soon with the upcoming uh, the next tutorial and uh, you can meanwhile look forward and explore more about the techniques what you have learned so far in case you have any questions feel free to comment below i'll be there to assist you so till then keep learning keep exploring I'll be coming back with another tutorial. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.